Hi, I'm Mike Lowe for Digital Camera, and this is our review of the new Panasonic Premium Compact System Camera, the Lumix GX1. This aluminium-built, high-quality yet compact model marries together aspects of the consumer-friendly and small-body GF series with the hands-on and more advanced controls that are a G-series mainstay. The GX1 specs a familiar fare. The same 16 megapixel Micro Four Thirds Live MOS sensor as found in the Lumix G3 is at the GX1's core. The GX1 also keeps Panasonic's super-fast light-speed autofocus system, but tweaks it a stage further for the fastest ever 0.09 second focus acquisition time. This makes it the quickest G-Series model to date. Although the GX1 doesn't come with a built-in viewfinder, it does have a hot shoe fitting and there's a new accessory port on the rear here. It's possible to attach the new VF2 electronic viewfinder, though it is worth noting that the previous VF1 viewfinder that was available for previous generation models isn't compatible with the GX1. What makes the GX1 different to its other G-Series models is that it's a premium finish. It's got an aluminium chassis here and there's also metal buttons on the rear. The camera is also not short of on-body controls, two function buttons as well as a quick menu and there are also the possibility of having two further function buttons as virtual touchscreen buttons. When you're within the quick menu it's even possible to adjust what you have within the menu itself. You can drag and drop settings into the menu and customise it to suit your needs. And if you don't want many options in there you can also just drag such options out and have a much shorter menu. There's a new level gauge that the GX1 also adds, and this works both horizontally or vertically, depending on which way the camera is orientated. For autofocus, there's face detection, AF tracking, the 23 area mode, and two modes that are quite similar in some respects, which is one area and the pinpoint mode. Autofocus is very quick indeed, as you can see here, and when using the pinpoint mode, you can literally touch onto the screen, it zooms in to show that focus has been made, and then you can fire off the shot. Other new features include a AFF mode which is autofocus flexible and this is where the camera detects if a subject is moving and then decides if it should go into continuous autofocus or use the single autofocus instead. As well as this the battery life has been improved compared to previous G-series models and now can take up to 310 shots per charge. Although this puts it on par with the similar compact system cameras from competitors it does perhaps lack a little bit, and this would be an area we'd like to see some improvements in. In terms of image quality, the GX1's results are the same as that as the G3, as it shares the same 16 megapixel sensor. Enough detail is resolved from ISO 160 to ISO 400, which then dips a little at ISO 800, where the JPEG processing begins to smudge and sharpen results more heavily. In studio testing, ISO 1600 began to soften and break down detail, and this rises exponentially from ISO 3200 through to the highest ISO 12800 setting. However, in the real world, the majority of the ISO settings make for good images. The GX1 may not quite fight off a high-spec DSLR, but it produces better results than the Nikon 1 series, and the balance of sensor size to physical product size feels about right. Overall, the GX1 is a very accomplished compact system camera. It's a fair balance of overall image quality to body size, and it's the body's build that really makes the camera what it is. It's well built, and the mixture of the touchscreen and the on-body controls makes it very easy to use. There are also loads of Micro Four Thirds lenses that you can get a hold of. There's very fast autofocus, and there's very little not to like about the camera. However, the new 1442 power zoom lens does add to the price and it's not going to be to everyone's taste as it's not particularly fast in use. But ignoring this small blip in the map, everything is going for this camera. It's a lot like the GF1 reimagined, but that's exactly what makes it a great camera overall. We gave the GX1 90% and our gold award.